Hey, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for coming out. Uh, later, a little later this week, we had intended to offer a little update to the media as to the progress of the hotel uh, project, but uh, given the uh, circumstances of the last few days, we thought today might be a good day to do that. Um, just update you on a couple things. Or since our groundbreaking, a number of things have been going on behind the scenes that, is, uh, that have been moving the project forward. Uh, the project is currently in the construction drawing phase. And of that, about 95% of the civil and infrastructure drawings are complete. That includes streetscapes and uh, utility work. Part of the civil package includes a sewer extension that uh, has received approval, and the bid package for that will be released April 7th. So that work will begin uh, this month. The site and foundation package, which includes other utilities, grading, and site work, is scheduled to be bid by the middle of the month, about April 18th, with full infrastructure, full infrastructure work in May following the completion of that sewer work. Uh, and again, the final construction drawings will be complete and ready for state approval in early May. Uh, this project has been a team effort from the beginning and we continue to work with our developer HCW uh, to move this project forward. One critical part of the uh, project is the franchise agreement and that is the, uh, the issue that's uh, causing uh, some, um, some discussion in the community today. The city and HCW have been in continuous contact with uh, our banking partners, private investors, and as that franchise agreement must be in place before all the uh, loans are finalized. As of March 25th, HCW was notified of an ejection uh, from Dunn Hospitality in regards to the Double, T pro Double Tree project. As we have been told, this type of recourse is fairly standard for hotel oper operators within the same brand. Unfortunately, this uh, objection initiated an approximate 60 to 80 day de delay process in which a market analysis by Hilton will be completed. Even so, HCW is very confident that Doubletree will receive formal approval and the franchise uh, agreement will be granted. Uh, the city and HCW are committed to the original completion date, that is the fall of 2014, uh, 2014 no, 2015. However, these uh, external issues are now in play and we will do everything we can to mitigate uh, potential delays. Uh, it's unfortunate that we have this delay, but uh, we'll, we'll work through it like we've worked through other, uh, other issues in the past. Any idea how long the process is going to take to try to get this delay out of the way? Well, uh, we believe it to be a 60 to 80 day uh, process to get the market analysis done. So, um, you know, we'll evaluate it with our developer on a week to week basis. We have weekly calls with them so we understand where th every element of the project is. So every week we'll be getting an update uh, from them. They're in constant contact with Hilton, so uh, we'll know more, but we believe it to be about a 60 to 80 day sort of time frame. Who does this market analysis, the Hilton organization? Hilton does. Dunn Hospitality has raised concerns over the Hilton name, the uh, brand, confusion with an existing brand they already have and they're making money from, and they feel that this is going to hurt their basic uh, imaging uh, franchise. Thoughts there? Well, we certainly disagree with it. We think the uh, Double Tree by Hilton will be, has never been in this market. We think it will be a huge boom for the local hotel industry. We think it's the franchise that we need and the brand we need to help attract conventions and meetings to, to this marketplace. Um, clearly, uh, the Dunn Hospitality Group is entitled to their opinion. We believe it will actually benefit the community and not hurt. Would there be any consideration given to coming up with a different brand? Uh, there, there could be, but we'll cross that bridge if Hilton says, has, says no. But HCW is confident that the Hilton, at the end of the day, will approve the Doubletree brand in the market. So during a 60 to 80 degree, 80 <laughs> day period, um, what will and what won't you be able to do with the Well, we just described a number of things. Um, we're uh, in the construction drawing phase of that about 95% of the civil and uh, infrastructure drawings are, are complete now. So the, um, uh, that includes a sewer extension. So that, will be, that bid package will be released April 7th. There are a number of things that will happen uh, leading up to, uh, to that. We'll do everything we can to move the project forward uh, short of uh, until all the, all the final um, uh, 
franchise agreement is, uh, is approved and then consequently the, uh, the all the final financing is, is put in place. So basically are you looking for some other things that may have come later that you're going to move up now to address during that 60 to 80 if need be? No, the, uh, everything that was scheduled to be done now is, you know, the, the, the stuff being scheduled for the front end is still on the front end of the project. Uh, it may get done in the next, you know, two to three months. And as soon as we have the franchise agreement in place, that is actually once HCW has the franchise uh, agreement in place, then all the other financing will fall in place. All that has to be, they have to have the franchise agreement before the loans are approved. And it's just a step by step process. Um, and this is just, uh, you know, one, one little hiccup that we're going to work through. Did you receive a letter from Hilton? Was that what it was? We did not. HCW was notified uh, Friday, I believe. Do you know what it said? I do not. Uh, this market analysis, is it uh, going to cost any extra from funding or anything? It no, it's conducted by Hilton. Do you think this has anything to do with Dunn's plans? You'd have to ask the Dunn group about that. I, I wouldn't want to speculate on what, what their motives may be. Have you had any talks with them? Not lately, no. Do you think it would be worthwhile to sit down with John Dunn and talk things over? Uh, we're certainly willing to. Uh, they, they reached out to, uh, to the Hilton group. They did not reach out to the city. Uh, uh, so we're, we're right down here if, if you'd like to pick up the phone and call. We're, we're certainly... Uh, um, I think it's interesting that uh, the, the initial media reports that he was critical of us by, for uh, releasing erroneous information. That was clearly not the case. And um, so, you know, if, uh, if Mr. Dunn was surprised that he would, that his organization uh, filed the request with Hilton, uh, uh, maybe he, he could uh, stop the process and, and pull it and let the process move forward. Would you urge him to do that? I would be delighted if he would do that. Well, they can't close. Well, they can't close on their loan. I mean, the loan's all approved. Everything's all the paperwork is done, but they, the loan closing won't occur until they have the franchise agreement. Uh, so they can't they can't start building out of the ground, if you will, until they have the franchise agreement. They have uh, they have had uh, several conversations with Hilton. Uh, they have faced this in other markets. This is not a first time occurrence for HCW. This is uh, sort of typical in that industry, and uh, they're confident, uh, based on their discussions and based on their prior experience, that the DoubleTree brand will be approved in Evansville. The city, are you guys asking HCW and Dunn to, to do anything right now? Are you guys asking anything of them from the city's perspective? I'm not sure what you mean. I guess just uh, the two, during this conflict, are you asking anything of them? I mean, like, you know, would you like to all sit down or kind of just asking them to, besides making the analysis, are you asking anything else from them? Well, Hilton is doing the analysis. Uh, HCW is proceeding with every other every other element of the project that they can short of having the franchise agreement in hand if mr dunn uh, would like to sit down we'd be happy to talk to him again if he was unaware that one part of his organization had filed the 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 protest without his knowledge we would love it if they would withdraw it 